we're just getting into back and forth and everybody. We're going to work on just basic, basic finishes and understanding where, where our finishes are going to be. Seatbelt grip, right? I don't, like to, I don't like to necessarily be dead in the chest. I kind of like to be over the shoulder more. And like, uh, like I was saying before, I want to try to keep my chin over that shoulder. In a seated position like this, it's, it's hard. This is just an easy way to kind of teach you guys so I can kind of sit up and talk to you guys. But in reality, you'll never be like this in a grappling match, right? Never like just seated like this, right? It's always going to be to one hip, well, not like that, but one hip to another. So it's going to be neither on this hip, which is my overhook, or the other hip, which is my underhook. So, whether it's my overhook or my underhook, first thing I want to do after points are established, I want to make an adjustment with my legs, right? You keep your feet here, you guys are going to start stomping down. Yeah, he's going to start sliding over. So, foot on the hip, kind of like you're doing an arm bar, and then bring the shoelace up onto the, to the, the hip line here. If your legs are long enough, you can body lock. If your legs are, aren't long enough or the guy's too big or you feel like there's too much pressure on your knee, you can just stack your foot on top here. But this makes it a lot harder for Ricky to be able to get over my foot and escape, okay? The other thing I like about this over the body lock, if I'm trying to say, say I'm, I'm, I'm in this position and I'm, and I'm looking to, you'll do it more off of uh, like the straight jacket and stuff here. Uh, but if, if, if I'm here when I'm body locked, He'll, he'll kind of feel me opening to try to trap the leg. Whereas when my foot's here, it's really close. It's just a quick little jump. So if he starts trying to pull that arm away, I can start attacking and then I can start going into my attack. Okay, but before we get into all that, let's just work. Bye. Let's just work uh, our, basic, our basic attack. So strong side is, is the side you're gonna, you're, you're gonna uh, uh, we were always kind of taught to naturally always go because Ricky will fall into the choke. Weak side is where uh, Ricky will go to, and that's going to be more of my uh, uh, the, the, the manable choke, the, the straight jacket, and also like attacking the armbar and stuff like that. So I go to uh, my strong side at first, just attack my chokes, and just a little just a little hand fighting um, review. Remember, anytime your your hands, you, you have a grip, they're all, guys are always gonna attack the top hand. So if I grab my underhook with my overhook, whether I fall to my strong side or weak side, what's my choking hand? My overhook. And if my overhook happens to be my top hand, he's gonna fight off what? The top hand. So if he fights off the top hand, not only is he gonna start breaking my grip but he's also taking the choke away so i always want to hide it with this hand so if he starts fighting off that top hand i can that almost that that, that, that actually draws his hands away and i can start looking for the choke so you tap the choke can with the underhook can whether you go to the the underhook side or the overhook side so i go to my overhook side right away adjust my footwork boom here or body lock if you want to go to body lock okay and then from here i'm just going to go to wrist control or, or, or um, wrist control, but more, more than grabbing the wrist, you want to just bring your hands inside the palms here, start drawing the hands away. This helps open the shoulder line because my guys will be kind of crunched in, right? Down, and then I'm just going to crawl my fingers up. Okay, and I want to look over the shoulder here. Now, one will just be a one hand finish squeeze, two, gable grip, John Jack choke. Three, I slide knuckles along the back of the head, and I finish. I protect my choking hand with my underhook hand. I fall to my strong side, adjust my footwork here or here. I go. To, I start going to that hand fighting here, wrist control, up and hand inside the palms. That way if you start trying to grab my hands, I can break it free. I start crawling my fingers. As I crawl my fingers, I'm bringing my chin over the shoulder. Okay, and then one hand squeeze. Then Jean Jacques, gable grip. And then set. Choke. Questions on this? So let's do strong side for about five minutes and then we'll go to the underhook side for five minutes and we'll talk about the manable choke, the rear naked choke, and then attacking the arm bar as well. Okay, one, two, three. You guys are gonna fall to this side because their shoulder is gonna be free to get to the mat. 
Ricky starts sliding his shoulder to the mat, and guys will start trying to escape. Two, when I fall to this side, what is it? What is this head falling into? The choke, right? So the escape makes more sense to go to this side, and the choke is is on this side. So it's a little bit it's a little bit trickier to 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 get the neck. But if you get the neck right in this position, it, it, it's, it's really, really uh, effective, okay? So the one thing, main thing I wanna do is I wanna try to keep my, my chin over the shoulder, right? I'm hiding my choking hand, he falls to the side, right? From here, we're gonna start working on just basic straight jacket grip, okay? Overhook is gonna be the top side. Underhook is gonna be the bottom grip. So if I'm stacking my hands on top of each other, okay, it's overhook, underhook, not here, or not here, right? I wanna be in this position right here. Keeping my chin over, I adjust my footwork, I go to my body lock, or I'm here. Now why I like, if I'm gonna try to go to that straight jacket series, why I like here is because it's just a short, it's a quick little hop to the arm. Okay, if I'm here, and I open, he'll, he'll most likely feel it, maybe tuck the arm away. But the elbow is pinned to the floor here, so it's a lot harder for him to get his arm away. So a lot of times, the way he's gonna try to free his hand, he's gonna start kind of pulling this arm away, right, start fighting me with this hand. So I'm going to lead with my heel, and I'm gonna put the, the arm into my back pocket. Now, I go into wrist ride, and I'm controlling inside the palm again. Okay, he'll tuck his chin down, and now I'm gonna start working in with my thumb. All right, pin to his chest. I squeeze, I rock him off my elbow or I finish with the rear naked. Same thing we did earlier. Okay, fall to my side here. Body lock, or I'm here. Top grip, bottom grip, holding inside the palm, right? Now I'm looking to establish, isolate, boom. I go to my wrist control here. Now he starts keeping his chin down. Say he really starts fighting me on this. I can't get under, make him look down. And grab the shoulder, right, keep your chin down. Right, this is really uncomfortable. So now I'm gonna pull the shoulder, get up here, and keep your chin down. <laughs> yes. It sucks, right? <laughs> so when I'm here, this is gonna go right across that jawline and I start squeezing. Guys will tap from here. But a lot of times what guys will relieve pressure is they'll pull that chin up. Boom, oh, and it sinks. And then I finish. I slip it in.